All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Maverick Overland Adventures. I wanted to finally get back on here and make a video that I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for, and that is the Yakima Skyrise HD3 rooftop tent that we have installed on this truck. And more specifically in this video, we're gonna be talking about how I have the tent mounted to my Extrusion Overland XTR1 bed rack. So funny enough, I actually started filming this video about five months back. In fact, we started filming it on the same day that we did the installation video for this bed rack, but about halfway through trying to install the tent, we ran into some problems and discovered that the way that this tent comes directly from the factory out of the box is not compatible with this type of bed rack using extruded aluminum bars. You're not able to mount the tent directly to the bars. I finally have a solution for this that has the tent mounted on here, nice and sturdy. It's very good quality. I trust it completely. We've taken this thing out several times now and had no issues. So my initial plan for this video was to show you guys the full unboxing, the assembly and the installation of the tent. Obviously, since we had those issues, I had to work through the tents already installed on the truck. So instead of doing all that, what we're gonna do in this episode is I'm gonna talk to you guys about why this tent does not mount to this type of bed rack directly out of the box. And I'm gonna show you guys what I instead did in order to be able to use these two products together the way that I am here. So I'm sure the first thing that you guys are wondering is what, what do I mean? that these two products are not compatible together straight out of the box. So most rooftop tents um, that are out there, no matter what manufacturer you go with, a lot of them just have um, simple mounting hardware that will mount directly into the channels on your extruded aluminum bars. Or if you have any type of like bed rack that has like brackets with holes in it, you can put that hardware through the holes and it bolts up. Yakima on the other hand has decided to do a different mounting style on their tents, which honestly is genius. It's a really good idea, but it's only compatible with certain types of crossbars they've decided to do a system of quick release clamps and I have one of them right here so there are four of these one of them goes on each corner of the tent and what these do essentially is they are just a quick release clamp system that clamp directly onto your crossbars once these are on your crossbars you tighten them down you take your key you lock it and you're done, that's it. So it's an awesome system if you're somebody like me that constantly takes your tent on and off the truck. I have that um, rooftop tent lift that I built in the carport over here. You guys can check that video out if you haven't seen it, by the way, I'll link it down below in the description. So a system like this, where you can just quickly unlock it with your key, rotate the screw and then pull the entire tent off is awesome in theory, except the problem is, is that Yakima has designed these to only work with their crossbar systems, or I'm sure you could probably get away with using competitors crossbars or knockoff crossbars that are the same similar profile as the Yakima ones. But the point is, is that you have to have that specific profile of crossbar in order to be able to mount these to it. There are different inserts that come on these. So the one that, that comes on these from the factory is the square insert that mounts on rectangular shaped crossbars. Um, they also come with ones that you can mount it on circular crossbars, but neither of those two inserts fit this style and this size extruded aluminum crossbar. So that left us with only one option, coming up with something else. So I had two different ideas that I came up with, the one that we actually went with, and then I had another idea that would allow us to still be able to use these, but it would cost quite a bit more and be a, quite a bit more work. So first, let's talk about what I ended up doing. You guys can see the clamp system sitting here. There are three more of these back here in the shed behind me. So obviously what I ended up going with completely eliminates this clamp system. Go ahead and drop the tailgate here. And I'm gonna show you guys what I have done. So these brackets here are a separate kit that I ordered from Extrusion Overland, the same company that makes the bed rack. This is a $50 kit and essentially what you get is four of these L-shaped brackets, one for each corner. The sizing and the, the thickness and the dimensions and everything on these are perfectly designed to match up with the size of the extruded aluminum bars. That way they perfectly fit. You get the hardware for these to mount them to the bed rack. So you get eight of these Allen key bolts and you get eight of those T-nuts, which are what slide into the channels on the bed rack and allow you to tighten these bolts down to it and fasten this bracket to your extruded aluminum bars. Now, if you take a look here, you'll see holes in the bottom of the rooftop tent. And what those holes are, are various mounting points that allow you to mount those. And I was actually able to use those holes to put a bolt directly through and mount it directly to this L bracket. So there's four of these bolts, one on each corner of the tent. These are stainless steel bolts sourced directly from the hardware aisle at Home Depot. They have several different types of materials for these bolts. I think the cheaper ones are made out of zinc and aluminum, and then they've got the stainless steel ones. They also have galvanized steel. The important part of why I went with the stainless steel ones is because they're gonna be the strongest, they're gonna be the most rust resistant, and over, and over time, I think we're gonna get the 
the most longevity out of those bolts. These particular ones, I believe, are two and a half inch. You can see that there's a lot of extra room hanging off. So ideally, you probably could have gone with two inch or maybe even inch and three quarter and you would have had to screw through less threads to actually get that nut on there, but that's okay, these work just fine. The nut that's on here is a lock nut, so it has a nylon washer inside of there that secures that nut down to the threads. That way there's absolutely no possibility of the nut backing off the threads and allowing the tent to come free. And I'm not gonna open the tent up to show you guys, but on the inside of the tent up here, um, where the head of this bolt is, there is a, a very large diameter washer to make sure that the head of that bolt has absolutely no way to pull through um, this bottom material on the tent and allow the tent to come free. So you can see that this is a very simple solution. There are a lot of things that I actually really like about the solution. The first thing is it's very, very sturdy. I can move the entire truck just pushing on the tent. Those stainless steel bolts, one on each corner, are more than enough to keep this thing locked down. Very secure, very sturdy. It's a very cheap option. Um, this mounting bracket system from Extrusion Overland is about 50 bucks. I'm gonna link it down in the description for you guys to check out. But honestly, if you wanted to, you could probably get away with getting some L brackets from Lowe's or Home Depot in the hardware section, and it would probably come a lot cheaper. The only thing is, is you would have to order the T-nuts and the bolts to fit the T-nuts, or you would have to find um, something similar in the hardware aisle that fits those. So that's why ultimately I ended up just spending the 50 bucks and going with the kit because it comes with all of that mounting hardware and the brackets are perfectly sized to fit this size of extruded aluminum bar. The other thing that I really like about what I ended up doing here is that you can see the tent sits perfectly flush on top of the bed rack right here. If you end up using this mounting system like Yakima intends for you to do, you've got probably about three or maybe even three and a half inches right here that that is going to lift the tent off the top of your bed rack. And my particular bed rack is flush with the top of my cab. So it just has a very good look to it. It's not lifted any more than it really needs to be. It's actually really nice. I like it a lot. However, here is the one downfall of doing it this particular way. It's no longer quick release. By doing the clamp system that Yakima intends for you to do with this particular tent, you have the option to very quickly remove this tent or install the tent whenever you want. By doing the way that I did it, unfortunately, it does add a little bit of extra time and effort to being able to remove or reinstall the tent. It takes me about 20 minutes to do so. The reason being in order to get those bolts through the hole and get them tightened down, you have to remove the weatherproof cover from the top of the tent and then reach underneath the mattress, push that bolt through and then hold a wrench on it to be able to tighten that nut down. And I have to do that every single time I want to install or remove this tent. So other than that, I like everything about this. I think it looks good. I think it works good. It's very, very sturdy. I trust it to the fullest. It's, it's a really great and fairly cheap way to overcome the mounting system issue of mounting the Yakima Skyrise HD3 to an extruded aluminum rack system like this. Now, there is one more option that I thought of for those of you guys that don't like the way that I did it because it's no longer quick release. There is an idea that I had that would allow you to continue using the clamp quick release system on this tent with this style of bed rack. So theoretically, what I'm thinking that you could do because these are designed to only fit certain profile square or round bars is you could actually build or even buy crossbars that would allow you to use these and then mount them to the top of your bed rack. So you would have your extruded aluminum bed rack where you can put your accessories and everything else on the side, whatever you want. And then on top, you would find a way to mount the crossbars that would accommodate this particular tent style. Probably the easiest thing to do would just be to buy some crossbars that fit this and find a way to mount them to the bed rack. However, that's probably gonna be the most expensive thing to do. Crossbars aren't cheap, and especially crossbars that have the weight capacity to hold several people on a rooftop tent and be reliable and trustworthy are gonna cost you several hundred dollars, maybe even up to $800, $1,000 if you're getting into Thule or Yakima or any of those really high-end brands. So I think the cheaper option would most likely be to DIY some crossbars for this. So what I was kind of thinking is you could figure out whatever diameter um, crossbar you would need to fit this round or square. You could go buy that material at Lowe's or Home Depot or even order it. So maybe some like round steel tubing that's gonna be sturdy enough to hold your weight. Um, you could even go with square. I think the, the um, profile that you need in order to be able to use this is like one inch thickness um, up to probably it looks like maybe four inch, like one inch by four inch or something. Ideally, you could probably go with 
you know, one by two, one by three, one by four, something like that. Um, square steel tubing, as long as you get tubing that has a wall thickness that's strong enough to support the weight of the tent and still be reliable, you could probably do something like that, cut it down to the length that you need, and then you would just have to figure out how to fabricate um, some kind of bracket that would stand right here mount to the bed rack and then the top of that bracket is what would hold your your crossbar on there and then you would be able to mount these to the bottom of your tent on all four corners and use the clamping system i'm really interested in trying that because that would allow me to use the quick release system and make my my lift system process a lot faster but again, the problem with, with doing that is it's gonna require a lot more work and effort. You're gonna have a lot more to figure out, some trial and error kind of stuff to get that to work properly. And it's also probably gonna cost a lot more money because even if you go with the DIY option, um, steel tubing, square or round, is not cheap and you're probably gonna be looking at at least 150, 200 bucks something like that to get the materials and all the hardware and figure out the brackets that you need and, and all that stuff so um, it's definitely a project that we might do here on the channel eventually but for right now using the extrusion overland um, l brackets that i have on here it's an awesome kit it has the tent on here nice and sturdy i like it it works just fine for me so there you go guys that's the whole video i just wanted to show you how i have this tent mounted to the truck and just kind of talk about some other ideas that i had for it most importantly i wanted to talk about why um, straight out of the box these two items aren't compatible with each other um, i have seen several um, like forums and stuff where a lot of you guys were having problems with the same similar stuff so hopefully this helps somebody out if it did let me know down below in the comments anyway i appreciate you guys watching the video i hope somebody found it useful and i appreciate all of you guys that have subscribed to the channel and been supporting and everything else i'm going to try to get some new content out here soon and not go another several months without getting anything out but you guys are awesome i appreciate it and i look forward to seeing you on the next one